Hello and welcome to another update video about oil as we're heading into the weekend. Um, my view here, we start with WTI by the way. Um, my view is still that we have a really good chance to follow through to the downside. This view will remain likely as long as we stay below the 78.6 retracement of this move to the downside which bottomed on the 3rd of May. Um, that is the 79.35 level as long as we stay below that I'm good with that view further downside. Above that level, I may consider something more bullish, but we are not there at this stage. And also price action at this stage doesn't really suggest that we will go above that level. So we will see, but currently um, this is my resistance box. We've reached it now twice. We've reacted to it twice here and here. And the idea is that we're currently moving up in a wave two correction as an ABC structure. My view is that this C wave could very well either, so either um, the C wave here is unfolding as an ending diagonal, which you, you, you never really know when it's finished. I mean, we've reached already the minimum it needs to do, so it could turn down at any point. Um, it's too choppy, too corrective to really apply a reliable um, lower degree Elliott wave count, but we certainly saw quite a strong reaction. And yeah, I think as soon, you know, as soon as we see here a break of this level at 70, 70, that's the first indication we may be coming down in the third wave. It's, it's quite an impulse down there already. Um, so it might very well be in, but it's a bit too early to say. Better evidence that we have indeed topped here would be a break below the B wave low, which was at around 69.40. Um, well, the other option would be that this is just the A wave, okay? Um, and then the B wave is still to come and the C wave is still to come. But that's at the moment unpredictable. Yeah, so we go with what we see. And because we already reached basically, yeah, the minimum targets it needs to reach here, um, I think it's either already in or may squiggle a bit higher from here to the $76 level to, well, and then we need to see if it has another reaction there. But at the moment, very, very choppy and corrective move to the upside. Um, which would rather confirm this particular wave count here. And if we take a look at some of the indicators, um, not on the four hour, I just want to show you the daily that's more reliable. So on the daily chart, we are still hovering in the bearish range, yeah, below 50. So, and, and a bearish engulfing candle now. So, I mean, there is no real evidence also in the indi on the indicator side that we go up higher, we can go higher. I mean, the trend in my opinion, isn't broken yet. Short-term trend is up, very short-term trend is just very choppy. Looking at the MACD, actually, you see the bullish momentum is still intact, but it's sort of weak, okay, and the RSI as well. So let's see, I mean, um, here, no change to the wave count. I still go with my view. The 79.35 level is the level where probabilities shift and where I think more upside gets more likely. Now let's look at uh, Brent crude, a very similar story here, very similar story here. We haven't reached resistance yet. Um, which starts at seven starts at 79.50 and ends at $84. So also here, basically same wave count. Um, also my view that we go down lower as long as we stay below $84. It can do whatever it wants here basically, but any break above $84 would make me shift scenarios to something more bullish. Um, here as well, very choppy price action. I did suggest in a previous video that this could be some kind of a a wedge pattern, expanding wedge maybe, ending diagonal, and also here, yeah, this seems to be playing out. I think a break of the 7460 level would be the first evidence that we go down lower in the third wave, with a break of the B wave low at 7340 being the even better signal. But a very, very first, very early indication might already be the break of the trend line to the downside. Not much more to add here because everything has been communicated already in previous videos. And uh, my view is that this is a, um, a pattern that can send us further down, maybe even here in the $50 region. Um, again, I will change my view above $84. Yeah, that's my view about uh, oil. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.